Okay, everyone, welcome back to game number two of Card Sharks here on Game Show Night. Final Flame is our returning champion, and I see that on my champions list, he actually won a previous match. So in the two games, he's won a total of 3,000 rupees. So he is a two-time champion. So I did not get a chance to look at the champion screen before I uh, started the show. But yep, Final Flame is actually a two-time champion. He's got himself 3,000 rupees total, and he is going to face off against... The biggest winner in Card Sharks history, and it is Saria the Sage. How are you doing this afternoon, Saria? I'm good, Laz. How are you? Oh, I'm doing terrific. It's good to have you here on Game Show Night. So, I've been asking the question, what is your most favorite memory of Fun for Freedom that you can think of? Um, I have quite a few. I think my overriding one would be... Probably back in February or so last... Hang on. Hang on. February 2013, when Lucari messaged me to offer me a position on the um, community team. That, that, that was a very good moment, and you really did deserve that. And, yep, you have been a very valuable member of the Fund for Freedom community team, and we've appreciated all the hard work that you've done for us and continued success uh, as we can, as Fun for Freedom draws to a close. Thank you very much, Sorry, That is a good moment indeed. Thank you, Les. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, Saria, you are our returning champion from the last game show night, and you, in this current championship reign, have 12,800 rupees, and we'll see if you can add on to your total and maybe close out card sharks as the biggest money winner of all time so you know how the rules work good luck to the both contestants we're going to start game number one with you final flame and here's question number one we asked 100 people in montreal canada in the past year have you been to a hockey game how many people said that they have been to a hockey game I'm going to say 70. 70 out of 100. I'll tell you, this is an appropriate question considering that we're now in the NHL playoffs right now. 70 out of 100 say that they have been to a hockey game. Saria, is the actual answer higher or lower than 70? I'm going to say higher. Higher than 70. Well, hockey is big in Canada, so maybe. Let's find out. Number of people in Montreal have been to a hockey game is 38. Wow, it is not higher. It's very much lower, not even 40%. Final Flame, you have control of the cards, and in this game, your first card is a 4. You want to play it? I'll play it higher. All right, he's going to not change the card, and he's going to play it higher. Is he right? It's a 7. You're right. Okay, Final Flame, a 7 player freeze. I'm going to freeze. Freezing on the seven, that protects your position, and it keeps Saria away from the cards. We'll go on to question number two. Question goes to you, Saria. We asked 100 single women, have you ever gone out with one man just to make another man jealous? How many said that they have gone with one man to make another one jealous? I'm going to say 45. 45 out of 100 said that they have gone with one man to make another one jealous. Final Flame, is it higher or lower than 45? I think it's lower. Lower than 45. Number of single women who have gone with one man to make another jealous is 57. No, it's not lower, it's higher. Saria has control of the cards. And Saria, game number one, your first card's a five. Do you want to play it or change it? I'm going to play higher, and I'm going to guess higher than the five, right. please. Higher than the five. It's a nine, yes. Near the middle with a nine, Saria. Player freeze. I'm going to play lower than the nine. Risking it lower than the nine. It's a four. Good call. Saria, a four. Player freeze. Play higher than the four. Higher than the four. Oh no, it's another four! Bad luck, Saria. That means Final Flame gets a free shot at the cards, and Final Flame, you've got a seven, but you cannot change the card. What's the call? I'm going to gamble and say it's lower. Lower than the seven? You got it! It's a two! Good call! 
What are you going to do now, Final Flame? I'm going to play that higher. Higher than the two? It's a nine! Okay, Final Flame, you're one card away from game number one, but you're near the middle with a nine. Player freeze. I'm going for it. I'm going to say it's lower. All right, he's taking a chance here. If it's lower than a nine, Final Flame will win game number one. Is it lower? It's a seven, and game number one goes to Final Flame. Congratulations. Gutsy strategy, and it paid off. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so that's another 100 rupees on your side of the board. It gives you 3,100 rupees. Fine, that means, uh, sorry, you got to win this game to keep your championship brain hopes alive. Brand new cards are being dealt out. Final Flame, we're going to start game number two with you. We asked 100 married women, does your husband do enough to show you he loves you? How many married women said that they have a husband who shows them enough love? I'm going to say 35. 35 out of 100 said that they do have a husband that shows them enough love. Saria, is it higher or lower than 35? I'm going to say lower. Lower than 35. All right. Let's see what it is. Number of married women who said a husband shows them enough love is 70. No, it is not lower. It is twice the number Final Flame said. It was higher. Final Flame, game number two, your first card is a deuce. You're going to play it, right? Yeah, I'm going to play that higher. Higher than the two? It's a queen. Good job. Okay, Final Flame, a queen, player freeze. I'm going to play it lower. Lower than the queen? It's a four. Still a good card. You want to play or freeze? I will go higher. Higher than the four? It's another queen! Final Flame, you're one card away from winning the match already. What are you going to do? A queen. Oh, well, I got to play that lower. All right, for the match. Is it lower than the queen? It's a 10, and Final Flame has won again. That's three matches in a row. Congratulations, Final Flame. Thank you. You're very welcome. Boy, oh boy, sorry, you didn't get much of a chance to play if the cards were just rolling for Final Flame. But did you have fun playing this game? I did. Well played, Flame, and good luck for the money cards. All right. Thank you, Thank you very much for being here, Saria, and uh, maybe we'll see you later on. Take care. Um, possibly. I am going to have to leave the mumble for a bit. I do have a couple of churros. I need to cook dinner and things. I'll be staying in stream chat, but... Maybe I'll come back to the mumble a bit later, but for now I'm going to jump AFK. Okay. Thank you very much for GID for hosting us and for allows for doing this final final uh, game. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much for Girls and Dresses, also known as GID, for hosting the mumble server today. We greatly appreciate all that you do for us. So thank you very much, and thank you for being here, Saria. We'll see you later. Okay, Final Flame, you have done it again, and you're going to the money cards, and you ready to do better this time? Yes, I am. All right, then let's get to the cards. Okay, Final Flame, what, we know how the money cards work, so we're going to get started right away. Your first card in this game is a king. You've got 200 rupees and a king. You want to play it? I got to play all of it lower. All right, all of it. 200 rupees. Lower than the king? It's a seven, yes. You've doubled it to 400 rupees. Do you want to play the seven or change it? I want to change it to card number three. All right, card number three. Let's hope for a good card. That seven now becomes a three. A really good card. 400 rupees and a three. How much are you going to bet? Let's do double or nothing higher. All right, again, the whole thing. 400 rupees. Higher than the three. It's another three. That's okay, though. You just keep your 400 rupees. It's a push. So with 400 rupees and a three, do you want to try and go double or nothing again? Let's do it again. All right. Let's see if we can get you a better card here. 400 rupees. Higher than the three. It's an ace. All right. 800 rupees. We're going to move the ace up to the next row and give you the other 400 rupees. You're up to 1,200 rupees, and you've got an ace. You can't lose, so let's hear it. Double or nothing lower. All right, for 2,400 rupees, lower than the ace. It's a seven. You got it. 2,400 rupees and a seven, and you have the right to change the card if you'd like. What are you going to do? 
Yes, let's change that card to card number one. All right. Oh, come on, Final Flame. You've got a lot of money on the table, and I'd love to see you keep this rolling. That seven now becomes a five. That's a better card. You have 2,400 rupees and a five. What are you going to bet? I'm going to say 1,900 higher. All right. 1,900 rupees, a big bet. Oh, I hope it works out for you. 1,900 rupees higher than the five. It's a jack. You got it. 4,300 rupees and a jack. Now, be careful. The last time you had a jack on the money cards, you got burned by it. 4,300 rupees and a jack. You got to play it. How much are you going to bet? I'm going big. I'm going 3,500 lower. All right. Oh, best of luck to you, Final Flame. I want to see you pull this off. 3,500 rupees on the turn of this card. Is it lower than the jack for Final Flame? Oh, my goodness. It's a two. 7,800 rupees and a two. You cannot lose on this card. So let's hear it, my friend. Double or nothing, go higher. All right, if this is higher, you're going to have 15,600 rupees. That would be the fourth biggest win of the money cards here for Card Sharks on Game Show Night. Good luck. For 15,600 rupees, higher than the two, it's a nine. You've got it. 15,600 rupees. An incredible win here on the last episode of Card Sharks for Game Show Night on Fun for Freedom. Wow. Well done. Well done. Wow. Awesome. Congratulations. I got to tell you, I got to ask you something, though. Um, If you wouldn't have had that push, that other three on the on the uh, bottom row, do you think you would have kept going double or nothing and tried to get the 32? It would have depended on the cards. Yep, that's true, because you never know what that random number generator is going to post. But 15,600 rupees, an astounding win. Congratulations. Thank you. Now let's win a car. Yep, that would be great, because we still have not given away that car in a long time. I'd like to see this drought be over with. Okay, let's see what you're going to play for, Final Flame. It is the Nissan Sentra worth 7,550 rupees, the second most expensive car. Got seven cards here. One of them says car. Where is it? I'm going with card number three. Card number three this time. Okay, and the people in my chat, make your guesses and see where you think the car is and see if you can spot it yourselves. All right. Card number three is what Final Flame wants. Okay, best of luck to you, Final Flame. Let's see if we can make it happen and win that car. Here we go. Is the car. Behind card number three. No, it's not. I am sorry about that. But that's all right. You won 15,600 rupees on the money cards. Let's see what our people guess here. Professor Whom's going with seven again. Slowpoke is a gamer says three. Well, I hate to say it. It's not behind number three. And Luke the Spoo says number one. All right, folks. Let's find out where that car was. Number six. All right, number six this time, so nobody got it right. Final Flame, though, you are still our champion, and you've won another 15,800 rupees in this match. That gives you a grand total of 18,800 rupees. You are still our champion, and you will be playing in our next match of Card Shark, so stand by while we give you another opponent. We're going to have game number three of Card Sharks here right after this, so stay tuned, everyone. <laughs> 